Okay, so we start with part A, which is asking about this uh, proton moving through a uniform magnetic field. So, all right, so let's say that this proton is moving horizontally, um, and it's got a velocity of 32,000 meters per second. The mass of the proton is from our formula sheet. We're going to need that since gravity is important, and the charge of the proton, we're going to need that since the magnetic force is important. Okay, so we're told that the proton is moving north. Okay, so the proton is moving north. Maybe I should look at this from above, right? So let's, let's do that. Let's consider north, south, east and west, okay? And then this will be the direction of motion for our proton. This is our velocity, v. And we need to know, now, the gravitational force is seen from above. This is a top view, okay? So the gravitational force points into the page, right? Because it's mg and it's directed into the page. It's directed downward. Therefore, the magnetic force must point out of the page, and it's going to have a magnitude of QVB, okay? So our gravitational force looks like that, and our magnetic force looks like that. So, well, wait a minute. So if uh, the magnetic force is QV cross B, and our rule is palm, thumb, fingers. So if our palm is pointing out of the page, and our thumb is pointing, um, if our thumb is pointing toward the north, then my fingers are pointing this way. My magnetic field therefore points to the west. Okay, so the fingers is west on my diagram. All right, so I've got the direction now, the direction of the magnetic field points west. Now I just need the magnitude, and that means that the gravitational force must equal the magnetic force. Okay, so I said mg equal to qvb. Uh, b is just mg over qv. Okay, so that's 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27, which is the mass of the proton. Little g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then I got the charge multiplied by the velocity. And that works out to be 3.2 times 10 to the minus 12 Tesla, and it is directed to the west. Okay, so there's our answer for part A. For part B, we have a square loop and the current's flowing in the clockwise direction, and it's immersed in this external field pointed in plus x direction. For each straight segment, we have to indicate the direction of the magnetic force. Okay, well, the magnetic force has a magnitude of QVB sine theta, where theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. It also can be written as LIB sine theta, where theta is the angle between the current and the magnetic field. Well, for this top wire up here, the current, I, is in the same direction as the field, so theta is equal to zero, and the magnetic force is equal to zero. For this bottom wire, the current is 180 degrees away from the magnetic field, and so again, the magnetic force is equal to zero. Now, for the wire on the right, let's see. So the rule, again, is... Uh, we do palm, thumb, fingers. So if my thumb is pointing down and my fingers are pointing to the uh, to the right here, then that gives me a uh, my palm vector points up. Okay, so the magnetic force points up out of the page on uh, on the right hand side, and on the left hand side it's going to point into the page due to the same rule.